name is Nomis and welcome back to the Hydrocraft tutorial series. In today's episode we're going to be taking a look at war dogs and exactly what you can do with them. There are five different breeds of war dogs, the Pitbull, Doberman, German Shepherd, Rottweiler, and Boxer, but currently only the Pitbull can be equipped with war dog armor. The recipe for crafting the war dog armor is learned by reading the leatherworking textbook. The crafting recipe to make war dog armor can be found under the weaving tab of the crafting menu. You will require 13 pieces of hardened leather, a needle, and 6 units of thread. There are two ways to obtain hardened leather. Both can be found under the weaving tab of the crafting menu. The first involves three pieces of leather and two units of candleberry wax. And the second method involves a clay cauldron, one unit of charcoal, three pieces of leather, two units of beeswax, and one unit of water. We'll be taking a look at both ways of making hardened leather, beginning with the candleberry wax method. In order to make candleberry wax, you will first need to find some candleberries. Candleberries can be found through foraging and require a foraging level of 5 or higher. The recipe for making candleberry wax can be found under the alchemy tab of the crafting menu and requires 5 candleberry to make 1 unit of candleberry wax. Again, to make one unit of hardened leather, you will need two candleberry wax and three pieces of leather. Simply right click on either ingredient to bring up the menu. At the bottom you'll see make hardened leather and that will give you one unit of hardened leather. Alternatively, you can make hardened leather by using beeswax instead of candleberry wax. This involves a few more steps but may be easier to obtain if you do not have the required foraging skill to find the candleberry. First, you will require a stage 3 beehive, a full bee smoker, beekeeper hat, some violets, and work gloves. With all of these ingredients, you'll be able to right click on the beehive and have the option to harvest four honeycombs. To obtain the beeswax from the honeycombs, you will first need to process the honeycombs into honey. To do this, all you require are your honeycombs and an empty wooden bucket. Right click on the wooden bucket, select the option to process honeycomb, and you will receive one wooden bucket with honey and five units of beeswax. Now that you have your beeswax, you're ready to make your hardened leather. Take your two units of beeswax, three units of leather, one unit of charcoal, and your cauldron, and select the option to make hardened leather. This will result in one unit of hardened leather. Once you have the necessary hardened leather obtained through either the candleberry method or beeswax method, you're ready to craft your dog armor. Again, you will need 13 pieces of hardened leather, a needle, and six units of thread. Simply right click on any of the three ingredients Select Make War Dog Armor at the bottom, and you will receive one unit of War Dog Armor. We're now ready to equip our Pit Bull with the War Dog Armor. To do this, all you will require is the Pit Bull, your War Dog Armor, and one piece of rope. Right click on any of the three items, select the Attach Armor to Dog option, and your Pit Bull is now equipped with armor. Now to use your war dog, simply right click and equip the dog as your primary. You'll notice the war dog now has a condition bar and damage bar, meaning you're ready to go out and fight some zombies. Now that we've found a zombie, we can go ahead and attack it just like we would with any other weapon. As you can see, our character is in an attack stance, and when swung, the war dog is sent out to attack the nearby zombies. Although it currently looks like your character is not swinging anything, rest assured, your war dog is equipped and being used as a weapon. The war dog also has quite the range on it. As you can see, we are able to hit these zombies from a fair distance away. The war dog is being sent out to attack the zombies, and so it doesn't need to be in your immediate vicinity to be effective. 
The attack speed of the War Dog appears to be similar to that of a baseball bat, but is obviously much more powerful. After a period of time, as with any other weapon, the War Dog will start to lose its condition. Once the condition bar drops to zero, you will need to remove the armor from the dog and perform a first aid to heal your dog. As you can see here, there is an option to remove armor from War Dog, but just note that if you do remove it before the armor is fully depleted, you will end up losing the armor. Once you've decided to remove your armor from your War Dog, simply right click on them, select the Remove Armor from War Dog option. Your armor will be deleted, and you will be left with one injured War Dog. In order to heal your dog, you will first need to have read the Veterinary Medicine textbook, which will teach you the Heal Dog recipe. This recipe can be found in the Health tab of the crafting menu, and requires your injured War Dog, one unit of painkillers, and either a sterilized bandage, adhesive bandage, diaper, sterilized menstrual pad, or sterilized rag. We'll be using the sterilized bandage to heal our dog. Once we right click on our injured pit bull, we get an option to heal dog, which in turn gives us a full health pit bull ready to receive more armor and get back in the action. This completes the War Dog tutorial video for the Hydrocraft mod. Thanks a lot for watching. Again, my name is Nomis. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button and leave me a comment below to let me know what you think the next tutorial should be covering. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Do you like dogs? Dogs. What? Yeah, dogs. Dogs. Do you like dogs? Oh, dogs. Sure. I like dogs. And oh my god. There are a lot of zombies here. Okay, yeah, leaving town. Don't need this. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're only at four days, guys. Okay, yeah, not staying in town. Not safe.